What's up guys, how's it going? It's Matt here. So this will not be my permanent backdrop guys. This is just some of my wife's decorations. Believe it or not, I actually have my safe coming in and uh, stuff like that. So you'll get the good solid matte backdrop here soon. But I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about a couple uh, updates, um, EDC updates. So I'm testing a new belt out. Um, I have a couple new holsters and stuff like that. So I'm gonna bring that stuff to you. I'm gonna show it to you and all that other stuff. So uh, first things first guys, I wanna talk about this real quick is uh, I was just uh, checking out my videos today over, over, over on uh, YouTube. And I noticed there was like, oh my, they, like I'm gonna say about 60% of my videos were demonetized, like 100% demonetized. Like videos to me down just asking people, hey, you know, it's a, maybe it's time to better yourself a little bit. So I challenge you to eat a little healthier and go out and walk and stuff like that. All videos all the way down to that have been demonetized and it's insane, like literally insane. I sent some feedback over YouTube, I'm like, really? You know, there's this thing called discrimination if you're using a public platform as a business and you're allowing people to come and use your business and to project their views and stuff like that, then if you discriminate against the people that are using that public business, which is kind of the same thing as, let's say, um, going to a store and being turned down by a store because of your sexual orientation or whatever it is, that that is considered discrimination, okay? So I kind of left them a nice little message about that, but I'm not gonna go crazy about that. You know, hopefully they'll do something about it. Probably not. If not, you guys know I'm over at Patreon. Anyway, so we're going to get into this whole EDC update right here. So, <laughs> this video probably be not demonetized too. Every single EDC update video is demonetized, but who, whatever. So, this is what we're going to talk about today. So, first things first, belts. If you guys have been following this channel for any period of time, or you follow any concealed carry channels, uh, just carry channels in general, you'll see most uh, one of the most important things that a lot of different channels say is one of the most important parts to actually carrying a firearm is the foundation, the belt. You need a good belt to actually hold the weight of the firearms and the spare magazines and all the other stuff that you have, because without a good belt, it's going to be very uncomfortable and your firearm's going to be sagging and there's a huge difference between having a good belt and having a over-the-counter crappy belt. So I'm just going to show you a couple options, but I'm going to show you the new belt that I'm actually testing out right now and I'm trying to use. So this belt I've been using for a long time. A good while now. So this is an Amish handmade belt. All right, it's like a $30 Amish handmade belt. Call it their EDC tool belt. It's made out of bull hide. And this thing is strong. I mean, this stuff is tough. It's been holding up my pistols very well. I do like it. It's a good looking belt. You know, nice little chestnut color and stuff like that. I've had no problems with this belt. But the other day I was over at Cabela's with my kids this past weekend. Um, I had a bunch of Cabela points from the move and I wanted to get some ammo. That's what my Cabela points are for ammo. But so I went there and I happened to see this belt. It's a 5'11 tactical belt. And I took a look at it, and I'm like, oh, it's a pretty cool belt, you know, it's a web belt. Well, what's so great? Why do people like wearing these belts? So I grabbed it and I felt it. I'm like, holy, holy mackerel. You know, this thing is heavy, heavy duty. Now this one, it doesn't have like a core or anything like this, but this is a double web belt, which means it's a reinforced belt. I don't remember the exact name of it. This is a 5'11 uh, tactical series belt, okay? So this one, it was style, STVIP59409, whatever that means. But this belt was about a $40 belt. I saw it, and this thing is insanely tough, okay? It's very tough, right where it needs to be, which is where you're carrying. Whereas up here in the front, this is just where it hooks in, it's just fine. But once you get down here, it just becomes a solid, solid belt. So I'm testing this belt out. It is very comfortable. I've been wearing it for, I'd say about a week now. No, the weekend, my bad, a weekend more than it since Friday, all right? But I'm wearing this since Friday and I'm really digging it, okay? I'm really digging this belt. You know, yes, it's 5'11 tactical, but they do make good stuff, okay? It's expensive stuff, but it's good stuff. So this is the belt that I've been testing out lately. So number one rule for everyday carry EDC is having a good solid belt. Well, if you're carrying a gun, good solid belt, something that can hold a foundation. And this belt is working very well. You wanna make sure it's not going to collapse on itself. You see me doing this? You want to make sure it's not going to collapse on yourself. You want it to hold up the weight of the actual firearm itself. Now, also, I got a couple new holsters, so I'm going to share those with you real quick. So both of my guns have been cleared for this, if you can't tell. Glock 19. This right here is my new inside the waistband holster. Now this stuff is from Arsenal Artistry, okay? He's a good friend of mine. Um, he's over on Facebook. Go check him out, guys. But he, this is some of the stuff. Check this out. This is some of his quality. He makes really good quality product, and it's a really affordable price. And once again, look at that. It's a, it's this is this is retention, okay? This is retention, 100%. This is a damn good holster. I mean, it's very positive, 
very positive. All right, very, very positive. I really dig it. So this is the new Inside the Waistband belt I've been carrying. Now, what's kind of funny is I thought this was a flat, dark earth, and he was actually explaining to me, this is actually an OD green. This is like a, uh, was it a, a spring OD green or something like that, he was telling me. It's kind of cool. I like it. But he makes a very good quality holster. So this has been my new EDC for my actual Glock 19. Now, the other holster I've been using is another, also another one of his is for this, for my 1911 here. So as you see, 1911. So it has been cleared, okay? So here it is. This is another one of Arsenal Artistry's belts. So this is outside the waistband belt. I mean, just look at the quality of this. I mean, just look how beautiful this, this holster is. So this is the outside the waistband. Now, I'm not a huge fan of outside the waistband, but I do, however, on occasion, carry outside the waistband at the gun shop. It's just part of what I do is I carry outside the waistband at the gun shop. Now, just look at this holster. Just to look at the quality and the time that actually he puts into these holsters. These are really good quality. They hug very close to the body. He also sends it with uh, tuckable straps, too. These ones are just belt loop. I'm fine with the belt loops. But this is a beautiful, beautiful holster. So this is not a lot of his holsters. Like I said, go check him out on Facebook. So right here, this is an outside the waistband holder specifically for my 1911. Now this is a full stainless steel 1911. So this is a freaking heavy gun, okay? Anyone knows 1911s, this is a heavy damn gun. Watch this. Finally, got it out. This thing right here, this holster is by far one of the best outside the waistband holsters I've actually had, and I've gone through a couple of them. So I'm really digging this holster, and once again, it's a very affordable price. And this one is OD Green. Now, <laughs> I thought this was kind of funny. Uh, him and I were talking about this, it's kind of funny. We talked about it in the live video. So this is OD Green, and this is OD Green. This is, I don't remember the exact name, but this is, for me, this is what OD Green is, but actually this is like a different type of color, OD Green. So I just think that's kind of cool. But he does make these holsters, and I do absolutely love these, and I'm testing them out. This I wore, I started wearing the other day, but then I had to run some errands, so I just went for my inside the waistband holster. Um, this upcoming weekend, I will be carrying this all the time on the outside waistband. I'll be testing it out, especially on my new belt and stuff like this. This, however, since I got it in the mail last week, I've been carrying it nonstop, and I absolutely love this holster. It's just a very very good holster you know he's got these really cool designs where you can just pop it out just like that all right so he's got some re really cool designs so go once again go check them out so those are just my newest edc updates now i got a couple more things that are going to be coming in the mail uh, my flashlight was actually dying on me so i got like a, what's it called a 500 lumen army gear flashlight or whatever it is it looks like an affordable price so I'll be testing that out. I'll actually be bringing to that that to you guys in the next, uh, well, when that comes, I'll, I'll, I'll test it out for about a week and I'll tell you about those, uh, specifically about what those are. And then, uh, let's see, what, what else do I got? Uh, I, no, that's all I got right now coming in, that type of stuff. There you have it, guys. So this is my newest EDC update. If you like this content, guys, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, there's a little bell that's next to my name up, the, up in the actual beginning of the page. So if you like this content and you want to be alerted, like tonight I have a live video, Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I also have live videos on uh, Friday. If I don't get any strikes, any YouTube strikes, those are at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So turn, hit that bell notification so every time I go live or I do release a video, you guys can come and see me and you know see my ugly face and go on about it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, let's again like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.